Hi. <laughs> Hello, strangers. Oh my God. If anyone's actually watching this channel because I have been neglectful, thank you for returning. As you can see, <laughs> a little bit of a change of a uh, venue. We are in my new office. I know this probably doesn't look like a, a regular office, but y you know me. Um, yes, it's currently in progress, uh, but I have to make a video. It's been so long. Um, boxes all around. I mean, if I turned this camera around, you'd be violently ill. There's so many boxes. Um, but you can see I'm putting together a little filming corner. So once everything is done, <sighs> it will be easier to film. And actually, like, I'm already enjoying like so much more having somewhere to film that's a bit more fun um anyway hi guys welcome back or welcome if you're new i'm elmet nickel i'm the author of a kind of spark and show us who you are and like charm and i've got some events coming up and also the most exciting thing uh in this news update is to let you guys know and you'll you'll know already if you've been on any twitter or tiktok or whatever but we have started production for a kind of spark the tv show Oh my gosh, I was sent some pictures from set that are completely confidential and I can't share with anybody, but oh my gosh, it looks incredible. Incredible. And the cast were amazing. We had a read through, um, how many weeks ago now? A time, I I don't know what time is anymore. But uh, last week or the week before we had a read through and I was just like, I was astonished by the actors. They were so fantastic. Um, for characters that I'm so excited for you guys to see, not just Addie and Kidi, who are being played by neurodivergent actresses, which is super cool, but also Nina, Miss Murphy, Mr. Patterson, Mr. McIntosh, Mum and Dad, um, Audrey, Jenna, uh, Emily, everyone is so great. There was not a single uh, fly in the cast, uh, so to speak. They were unbelievable. I'm so, so excited for you guys to see it when it's ready and on television and of course I will update you about that um properly from my secret <laughs> um but to let you know a kind of spark the tv show has been in development for a while I've been writing scripts the showrunner Anna has been doing an incredible job um Granny at Nine Story has also been amazing everyone's been great in the pre-production but we are now in production it's being filmed how exciting is that how much fun is that so that's the first piece of big big news Second piece is just some upcoming events for Like a Charm. Um, I will be at the Edinburgh Book Festival, one of my favourite festivals of all time, on the 14th of August at 10am, doing a whole show about Like a Charm. Maisie Chan is chairing, which is super cool, just won the uh, Jalik Prize. Um, we're going to be talking about Edinburgh and Sirens and Ramia at 10am at the Edinburgh Book Festival on the 14th of August and you can get your tickets. You can come and visit us in person where we'll have a signing and hugs and hellos and all that good stuff. But also um, you can watch online as well if you're not able to come to Edinburgh or you'd rather watch virtually there is also that option. It's a hybrid festival, thank goodness. So that option is available. You can come from anywhere in the world. You can watch online. So. Join in person or online at Edinburgh Book Festival on the 14th of August at 10 a.m. for Life Charm. And then I'll also be interviewing the wonderful Ben Dean, uh, Benjamin Dean, his author name, on the 27th of August at the Edinburgh Book Festival. I'm going to be interviewing him about his wonderful book, The Secret Sunshine Project, um, and, and, and other books as well. Me, my dad, and The End of the Rainbow, which is his debut, which was amazing. So I'll be interviewing Ben on the 27th of August. And then on the 28th of August, I'm super excited again, my third event at the Edinburgh Book Festival, I'll be doing a panel with the amazing Ross Montgomery and Aisha Bushby about magical middle grade and, and that's going to be on the 28th of August at the Edinburgh Book Festival too. Also available to attend in person or online. So that's all on the Edinburgh Book Festival website. I'll try and link below. I've not done this in a while but um, that will be linked below. Um, and then what next? Bath. I'll be at the Bath Book Festival which is amazing. It's my first time at the Bath Festival and also my first time in Bath. I'm so excited to see it. I'm a big Jane Austen fan and it's a real book lovers town so that's going to be so so great um, and I will be there. Oh gosh don't let me get these dates wrong. The 24th of September I believe if that is a Friday no, oh gosh, I'll double check. The correct dates will be in the bio, but on the 24th, I think I'm doing a school's program event. I'm doing two actually, I'm doing one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And then the Saturday, I'm doing an event on like a charm, which is ticketed and you can come and see that. But I will put the, I will put the dates in the bio. Um, you don't need to 
count on me <laughs> my memory um but that's gonna be in september late september which is super super fun and exciting and i can't wait to see people there i hope people come it's my first time in bath and um, really super excited about that so that will be um yeah late september and then i'm off to italy in october to celebrate the launch of show us who you are in italy very fun i also have a birthday which is fun too and I have some school visits I need to confirm, so if your school has asked me to come, then we're hopefully going to make that happen as well. Um, what else? Some exciting writing projects I can't talk about, but um, I hope that you guys will like them when they are revealed. But for the most part, it's just saying, hi, I'm, I'm still alive. Like, <laughs> I'm not. And um, I've just been moving house, and it's been unbelievably busy and stressful moving house. As I'm sure some of you guys know, it's a big, big life change and it's an exciting one but it's very very busy and there's a lot of unpacking and admin and stuff to do um but i will have finally have my own office where i can write my my work and um and not sit on a bed anymore um and part of that office is gonna have a filming corner which is really fun and this is a little uh, sneak preview of it work in progress but um yeah i'll be doing a proper kind of house tour when everything's done on tiktok you can find me at l mcnichol all one word on tiktok or at Books and Chokers on Twitter and Instagram. Um, again, this will all be in the bio, but these are just the events that I have coming up. Uh, pretty chill, but super exciting. Um, but the main thing that I'm so thrilled about is that a kind of spark the TV show is now underway. And I will, of course, keep you guys updated on that. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all enjoying your, uh, your reading. I've just been judging the uh, Young Adult Book Prize and boy, what an incredible shortlist. Um, and the winner is going to be announced at the Edinburgh Book Festival too, which is very, very exciting. Um, I'll do a, a reading wrap up, hopefully. <laughs> I shouldn't make promises. Hopefully do one soon. But yeah, that's the updates, guys. Um, as ever, if you need to get in touch, you can do via the website. And thank you so much for sticking with. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy summer and it's not even over yet, but um, exciting stuff. And um, really, really, really uh, chuffed about a kind of spark. And also the events for Like a Charm. Yay, book, book two. I'm writing the sequel, should be finished soon. Uh, cool. Have an amazing rest of the week, guys. Bye.